Our next shuffle is called Push Off Pairs. And we can interpret the following as simply describing a stacking of those pairs from left to right. Because the first pile gets stacked on top of the second, that set of four cards gets stacked on top of pile three, that set of six cards gets set on top of pile four. So we're just stacking from left to right. And something very important happens. We'll need to talk about what this means. But this is a way to represent the identity permutation, which means we really should get back to the original ordering of the cards. So let's go ahead and perform the shuffle and see what happens. Okay, so here we have our order packet, one through eight. So push off pairs, what does that mean? It just means you push off pairs. You don't change the relative order of these two cards and you just set them down, that. You push off the next pair, that. Push off the next pair, like that. Push off the next pair, set it down. Now the stacking is from left to right. So we're going to stack one on top of two, that packet of four on top of three, and those six cards on top of pile four. Now, if you really think about what's happening with the cards, you'll probably detect that we should return the packet to its original order, which we do. So writing this permutation in Cauchy's two-line notation, we obtain the following. The original order was one through eight, and after the shuffle had been completed, we again finish with an order of one through eight. So converting this to cycle notation, we obtain the following. One goes to one, two goes to two, three goes to three, four goes to four, five goes to five, six to six, seven to seven, eight to eight. So every single card in positions one through eight have been returned to their starting position. And one way to represent this is to just have a set of parentheses with a one inside. That's how the identity permutation is commonly represented. Now color coding the digits, we obtain the following, which brings out an important idea. But let's quickly review the meaning of the colors. Recall positions one, four, six, seven have been color coded black. Positions two, three, five, eight have been color coded red. That's to help us keep track of what happens to cards in these positions relative to cards in these positions. Because these are two special sets of position values in the study of Bessie sequences. So what we see here is we get eight one cycles. And as we've discussed in this series, as long as the context is clear as to how many objects you're working with originally, we normally do not include one cycles in our cycle notation of permutations. But the problem is if we drop all of these, we have nothing to write down here. So what is typically done is that we just write down set of parentheses with the first value inside, and this then implies that all of the other values, two through eight, are fixed points. They don't go anywhere. And so we see that black one goes to black one, red two to red two, red three to red three, and so forth. So each value gets sent to a value of the same color because it, each value is being sent to itself. So in particular, Inversion does not occur here. All of the cards that began in positions one, four, six, seven end up in those positions. In fact, they end up in their original positions. And all of the cards in positions two, three, five, eight also are returned to this set of position values. So we would be looking at this situation here. So if you feel the need, we can go ahead and just demonstrate this and apply it to our Bessie sequence, 1001-0110. And we'll get back to the exact arrangement here. Not only the exact form, 
1010110, but none of the cards will actually have been moved from their original positions. Or another way to say it, each card is returned to where it started. Okay, so the, sh the push off shuffle here, again, is you're just pushing off pairs without changing the relative order of those cards. And here we're just stacking from left to right. And this will give us the exact original ordering of the packet that we had before. Now that's hard to tell here because we have two distinct identical labels, namely zero and one, but indeed every card's been returned to its original location. If we look at the graph here on the left, we see a picture that we have not seen yet in this series. It's simply the identity permutation. So there's no arrow, or if you would like to draw an arrow, we would have an arrow that goes, that wraps around, goes back to one, an arrow that starts at two, wraps around and goes back to two and so forth. So circular arrows could be drawn, but such a shuffle diagram represents the identity permutation and that's indicated down below.